Greetings, my name is Mr. Bonesworth, and I today bring a way to counter both the Buckle Up and For the People combo, and the new alien perk, Alien Instinct. I'll be going over these perks that you can bring, or possibly even add-ons, to make it so you don't struggle against. First off on the chopping block is For the People and Buckle Up, a combo that has been used to immediately pick someone up after they just get down and chase. Now, if you're a killer, this is quite disappointing. It's like a flashlight safe, but something you can't really look around for before picking up. It's less countable. Hell, there was a combo with made for this and for the people, but then they removed that. But that even had more counters than this new trend of buckle up and for the people. Just for the record, I think that made for this and for the people had so many more counters. For one, if a person being picked up wouldn't get an endurance effect, nor any other effect. Two, a person doing the picking up, if they're exhausted, they wouldn't get the endurance effect either. So, it's like they killed the mosquito in the room, but then added a horn's nest to liven up the mood after that tragic death. Like, seriously, they removed the combination of for the people, and made for this, and not even a week later, I believe, they did this new combo, which is just what that was, but worst. Now, you can use Sprint Burst to get over there quicker, if you want exactly hovering super close nearby, and then use it, and now you both see the aura for 10 seconds, you both get the endurance effect for 10 seconds, and the person that just got picked up, now can run 10% faster. So. Is this really fun to go against as a killer? No, it's quite devastating if you had a long chase and then someone just gets picked up because a survivor on comms was paying attention to the movements and knew where they were going to get down, blah blah blah. It's, it's just irritating as all hell. Just to paint a picture of how devastating it can feel, say you're doing trap, you got a daily. So let's go with one of the weakest killers in the game and you got your crows. Ah well, your traps aren't going to do jack squat. You get into a chase, so how you're going against has crack looping perks such as Windows Opportunity, Made for This, Resilience, and Hope for Endgame. Because they're that comp. You go in a chase, three gens are popped, and then you finally down them. And as you're wiping your weapon on your sleeve, someone runs up. Picks him up, you go for the swing, and an endurance effect on the press you just downed. Now, it got a 10% speed boost, not including the lovely hit boost that you just gave him, and they're already to the next pallet. Here we go again. You do this, you chase him, you get him down, you get your first hook, and the last gen pop. Damn, that was an interesting chase. <laughs> a totally not frustrating. And totally didn't rob you of possibly getting more than just one hook. Now, could you have done better? Yeah. But, let's be honest. You would have done much better if it wasn't for one certain combination that has almost no counter. Also, I say easy counter. And often not, if you have to bring a perk to counter a, a perk or even two, it's often considered broken in the community. So let's do that. Bring perks to help counter this set of perks and also just be generally good perks in general, such as Infectious Fright, often used on Myers and only players to make full use of their instant ability, or used on other killers to help see if there's any flashlights nearby, toolboxes, so on and so forth. You'll be using this for the little effect of which it makes him scream. If you down someone, and right next to that tile or whatnot, there's someone over there, you can interrupt them doing the heal maxing while they're screaming and possibly recover from your attack. This is the so far the weakest pick other than Rapid Brutality to counter this combo. Now. What Rapid Brutality does, 
is give you a 5% haste effect for 10 seconds after a basic attack. This is often good for catching up after your first hit and chase, and countering made for this a slight bit, but also has the downside of getting rid of bloodlust. Now, after someone gets picked up from buckle up and for the people, you can use this to go after the person that did the picking up and possibly get them before they get the, to the next tile, or possibly keep up with, with them if they're trying to make the most out of that endurance effect. Now I use Rapid Brutality for the next pick, which is Force Hesitation. Force Hesitation, if someone's down within 16 meters of the survivor, the survivor that's in the range, or survivors, are affected for 10 seconds by reduced movement speed of 20%. Now this is often good with Rapid Brutality because you just downed them, you haven't fixed this fright, and now you know if someone's in that range, which you can often tell, you can go after them, and it'll feel like they're 25% slower because of the haste effect, and you'll be easily able to catch up. And it also adds the benefit of if they're nearby and they start running, you can possibly recover and hit them before they start healing and use for the people. And the last pick to highlight them all is save the best for last, which is really good with rap brutality for the reason that it gives you more value for Rapid Brutality, Force Hesitation, and yes, Infectious Fright. Even by itself, it increases at most your basic attack speed by 40%. So after you do a basic attack and you down them, someone that's running up, if you didn't have this pick, would be able to save them. With this pick, you can't hit them, and then they go lose their health state, and then they come the pants down, crouching over the down survivor, you recover again quicker, and as they're trying to use their hit speed, you down them again, now you got two people. So, do I recommend all four of these picks for build? Eh, I mean they're good for chasing a little bit of information, but if you're going to bring two, if you're worried about buckle up and four people, force hesitation and save the best for last are going to be your best friends. This is just for good chase, better chase, guaranteeing you keep your down, and information while you're doing it. It has no gem regression, blah blah blah, and this kind of only works for killers like Trapper, Wraith, so on. But on other killers you don't really have to worry about this. Huntress, you down some for a distance, <laughs> often by surprise sometimes. Bubba, he can just chainsaw them both, get rid of the endurance effect. Blight, you can catch up. Nurse, Nurse isn't really affected by much, other than Larry's. Now on to Alien Instinct. Now, why am I talking about Alien Instinct? For one, it's a generally new pick, and people might be struggling of how to deal with it, and two, I see it often used to tunnel the survivor that's just gotten hooked, and I find that generally unhealthy for the game. This is to help survivors who are struggling to go against this pick, and hopefully make it so you have a better chance of making it out and not being tunneled. So we'll be going over by what you can bring in categories, anti-tunnel, stealth, and faster healing for oneself. And I can also go over of what your teammates can bring to possibly make this a better experience for you. First, and the best perk to counter this is off the record. Off the record makes it so you get a endurance effect for 80 seconds if you don't do any actions like healing yourself or doing gens or healing the person, unhooking, and so on. But the secondary effect stays on no matter what, which makes it so you get unable to be read by auras and your grunts of pain is completely silent. The second perk that is really good but very situational and can be rendered useless is Resurgence. This makes it so you instantly recover 50% of your health when you get unhooked, and if someone has will make it, it's only a 4 second heal. However, if the killer has something as simple as Sloppy Butcher or Gift of Pain or some add-on, you do not keep 
this 50%, and if they don't start healing right away, you're going to get no value from this. But this could help in the case of if the person's using alien instinct and someone's about to be hooked, that split second that you could have been seen is now gone and could really help. But I've seen most killers just run Sloppy Butcher with alien instinct, and you can probably tell why this is on the lower end. The third pick, which falls into the stealth and the healing category, is plot twist. Whenever you are injured, you can force yourself down, and when you recover, you get a full health state and a 50% haste effect for 4 seconds. Now, alien instinct only works if the person's injured, so anyone that's slugged on the ground will not be seen. Now, this makes it so you get a full health state, the other person that just unhooked you can go do gen, totem, whatever, and you'll be back up for the fight and not worry about being tunneled out. Although I would recommend you bring some other pick to hide your aura because something like Deer Stalker or Darkness Reveal can still reveal you. The last one is part of the stealth category and I highly recommend you bring this with Circle of Healing. This makes it so whenever you're in the range, you're unable to see the scratch marks of a survivor and the aura if you're a killer. This is great for if you or your teammate put this down and run over there, heal. Even if you're not done healing, the killer won't be able to see you. Shadow Step is often overlooked and think, I think it needs more appreciation, especially if it's comboed up with another boom. There are other perks that are situational like Rear Surgeons, but I think if you have, like, off the record, you should be fine. Other picks that you could possibly bring that don't go in the other categories is Breakdown, which just helps it so if you trade hooks, if the person that unhooks you won't go immediately on the other hook and possibly could be saved from some wonderful beam with a toolbox. Also, another aspect of Boon Saddle Step is it can be paired with Dark theory and be an awesome loop-in combo. But that's just my opinion. Now, both the buckle up and for the people combo can be nerfed in future and hell alien instinct could be made so it can't go after the person that's been recently unhooked. But for now, this video should help in the way of countering those builds and make it so you have a better time in each situation for survivor and killer. Try to have fun out there. This has been an interesting video to make. I have tried to make it as simple and easy to understand as possible and hopefully I can focus on other builds in the future. Or maybe the game will be in a healthy state in the month. Who knows, right? See you on the flip side.